We want to do the antiderivative of x squared times the square root of x cubed plus 7 using the method of u substitution. So we have to first decide what we're going to let be u. And think in terms of chain rule, think of an inside function. A good candidate in this one is the x cubed plus 7 that's under the square root. So it's inside the square root function. So what we're going to do is we're going to let u equal x cubed plus 7. And the thing you should do immediately after calculating or finding your u is find your du. Now what we're actually finding is du dx, so the derivative of u with respect to x, which we know from our derivative rules, is 3x squared. But we're going to cross multiply that dx and we're going to write this as du equals 3x squared dx. And that's how we'll write it from here on out. I just wanted you to see where that dx was coming from. Now, we are ready to substitute. The x cubed plus 7 is going to become u. So when I go to rewrite this integral, I'm going to have square root of u in the next step. The question is what happens with the rest? Well, the reason that x cubed plus 7 was a good candidate was because we also had an x squared in our integrand. Notice there's an x squared right here when we solve for du. Not only do we have to get x cubed plus 7 in terms of u, we need to get all the x's in terms of u. So it turns out 3x squared dx is equal to du. We have x squared dx still in our integrand. It's okay that we don't have a 3. We can always adjust for a constant. So for instance, I can put a 3 in here. Now I've changed my integral. So to make it so it's not changed, I'm going to multiply by 1 third out front. And that 1 third has to follow my integral. Now my substitution is complete because I have 3x squared dx which we know is equal to du. Now this is the integral we're working on, a much simpler integral. First thing we're going to want to do here is rewrite it as a power function, so u to the 1 half du. And now we can take our antiderivative. So we have 1 third. Remember you increase the exponent by 1, so u to the 3 halves divide by the new exponent. So dividing by 3 halves is the same thing as multiplying by 2 thirds. And don't forget our plus c. We'll clean this up just a little bit, which is we'll write that as 2 ninths. And the other thing we have to do is substitute back. Our integral did not begin in terms of u, it began in terms of x. So we have to substitute back, but that's okay. We know exactly what to substitute back because we have our substitution right there. So. We just have to substitute back in the x cubed plus 7. So this is going to be x cubed plus 7 to the 3 halves plus c. We could rewrite this with a radical, but that is our general antiderivative.